Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. For those of us who are getting engaged in the Thargoid War, or helping out by rescuing passengers, or picking up escape pods, then you would have come across the Thargoid side, the new Thargoid Hunter variant that was introduced with Update 16. Well, the Thargoid Scythe has many attacks, one of which will come around and rip those passengers out of your cargo hold, leaving you scattered and using collector limpets to collect them should you be successful in the engagement. If you're not successful or have varying levels of success in the engagement, however, the Scythe is going to take out your canopy. It's one of its main attacks and it's really frustrating. And that's what I want to talk to today in this episode of Well, I Didn't Know That. Things that I don't know about Elite Dangerous, and I've been playing for years. Well, Commanders, with every iteration of this game, and for every time I play it, there always seems to be something that I find out for the first time. And that's why I've spawned the series. Well, I didn't know that. To bring to you all the things that I've found out for the first time, and perhaps myself, and the community to whom I stream to didn't know. So with this, what we're going to do is talk about canopies. Now with the introduction of Elite Dangerous Odyssey, we all know that for those people who play on PC, you can get out and walk around on a planet surface, on some planet surfaces. You can explore bases, you can explore and do some exploration and some biology discovery, all that sort of stuff. You can get out and have a bit of a trot around. So even before that, during Elite Dangerous Horizons, we were able to land on the planet and trolley about in an SRV. So the squadron and I on a recent weekend stream were doing AX Power Restore missions. Now these are great missions, especially at military bases. You can mix it up with the Revenant and you do get that touch of cloth moment every now and again. Some good gameplay, could be a little bit better, but let's not get into that right now. It would be great though, if those Revenant could come into the buildings. Anyway, I'd be mixing it up with the Revenant, I'd be mixing it up with the Scythe, I'd be mixing it up with all the Thargoids. I was rocking around in a huge old, big old bus of a ship, my Anaconda, fitted out with enhanced AX multi-cannons, and uh, I'd incurred a bit of damage. I landed at the base, thinking I could get out, but oh no, I couldn't, because my canopy had blown. And when your canopy is blown, you can't get out to walk around, you can't get out to get into your SRV and abandon your ship. Even if you have some of your squad there who have got free space, that could potentially pick you up and take you away. What a shame. And I said the words, well, I didn't know that. So, if your canopy is breached and blown and completely out like that, you cannot get out of your ship and walk around. You cannot get out and get into an SRV and drive about. And more's the point, your crew can't come and rescue you. Ooh, I didn't know that. And a lot of people on the stream didn't know that either. So there you have it, everybody. Be very aware that if you're doing these ground-based missions and you're mixing it up with the Thargies and they take your canopy out, best get yourself to a station, Ricky Tick, and get that repaired because you're not gonna be able to do much with it or even complete the mission. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching this. Well, I didn't know that video. If you like the videos and you want to show a little bit of support, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the follow button on whatever platform you see this video on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.